get here early, I still go in. Birthday boy made 68 years. Haven say, don't y'all count him out. I'm out of here. Love you guys. This is Love Iron. You going down, man? I'm going down. How you doing today? I'm okay. I'm okay now. I'm getting out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that treatment. That treatment, I take four and a half hours. Ooh, no. Oh yeah, we got you. That's what it is. You too, man. Yeah. Which one is? One. Huh? Push what first, is? Push first. Oh, off. sorry. Thank you. The tree. Who you with, Kerr? Uh huh. It's all right. Yeah, I've been with Kerr for seventeen years. For real? I was down for what? What is it? When I have the most of my loan, they say it's not curable. That's a form of cancer. Yeah. So a cancer that I never even heard about. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's not curable. Let me ask you something, man. What? I have a YouTube channel, and I've been coming into contact with so many people who God has been blessing them to. I, th I know what you just said. Yours is yours is uh yours is not curable. curable. Yeah. But for how many years? Well, seventeen June six. Yes, it's June six. Yeah, well, yesterday. So God is keeping you. Yeah. So it's not curable. So, see, 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 they. Got to give you treatment. Right. And then it goes in remission, like mine's been doing, then it come out. Uh -huh. And you never know when. You just keep coming back, you know. Oh. So you have to keep fighting. How, how, how long do you go being remission? What's your longest time? Let me see. Uh, I was diagnosed June 6th. Mm -hmm. 2007. June 6th. That's my husband's birthday. Is it? Which was yesterday. 2007. And uh, he put it in, Dr. Bariah put it in remission. What was that in 2000, October 2007, mm -hmm. same year. Mm -hmm. And I stayed in two years. Came back in 2011. 2011. But ma'am, you look well. Yeah, but I'm a little slow now. <laughs> you can't yeah. tell? Yeah. Do y'all hear this? Yep. Wait a minute, ma'am. I'm. I just want to say that, and I'm sorry about recording you. Yeah. I didn't no, mean to. Recording. Okay. But. They can't see you. Okay. They can hear you, oh, but they okay. can't see you. Can you just one more time? Y'all, here go okay. another testimony. What? About what you're going through. Yeah. I, definitely. I've been going through it for 17 years. Made 17 years last, last month. Hey, I say last month. This is my June 6th was yeah, yesterday. Yeah, his birthday. Yeah, I, be dog, I remember him. But you said it's not. And what is it called again? Multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma. myeloma. Yeah, it's an incurable cancer. You just have to keep taking I didn't, medicine. I didn't know people could. I didn't know people. Could, I didn't know people could have chemo treatments that long. I know. He. So, what you think? God gonna heal you. You're probably already healed. Yeah. Cause God has just been putting some, and you are walking testimony, man. Yeah. Seventeen years yep. of an uncurable Curable disease. Yeah. That ain't nothing but God. Could I, could I pray with you for a minute? Huh? Could I pray with you for a minute? You want to pray. You always pray. Huh? Just a minute. Yeah. It's okay. simple. Okay. Father God, we come to you right now, Father God, thanking you, Father God. Mm -hmm. Father God, we know you are the doctors of doctors, Father God. I ask you right now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, through your son, Father God, this lady here is healed. She's been dealing with this for 17 years. 17 years. It makes me, it brings to mind your word about the, the lady who had the issue of blood. But she said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I'd be made whole. Yep. It's our faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Touch right now. Amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In yep. Jesus' name. Thank what you. is Thank your you. name? Miss Loretta. Loretta. Miss Loretta. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. You I'm you. so mad though, you know, because you know now, you know, my body is not as strong as it is. Right, I can understand. Yeah, you know, now we turn and we age and you know, yeah. every year we age it. So I made seventy three and you know and I'm just I don't know. Yeah, you are here. You are here. 
in Jesus' name, I'm telling you, I mean, this is, this is, you know, some people get a diagnosis today and they go on the ball. 17 years, that ain't number Jesus keeping you. You are a walking testimony, and I'm so glad, I'm so glad you walked into me and my husband life together. Because every time some, I speak to somebody, God is blessing them, took it away. That just gives me hope. That's right, that's right. Because everybody, I talk to them, and they usually ask me something, and I say, well, I've been with you for almost 16 years. And if it's 16 years, you ain't coming to me. You know what I I didn't. So what's the longest? What's the longest you've been off of kids? Uh, actually, if you want to know, I never been off. You never been off. The only years I never have been off. Off of. They keep keeping you like on the basis. Cause that's what they did to him. They took him off for a year. He was just kept on the basis. But we can't do that. Oh, yep. My neighbor has that. My niece had that. So, but yours is, it, 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 where is it yours in your body? It's not no cure for the one I have. Okay, but where is it at in your body? Like here's it's colon, liver? Colon, liver, mine, see mine is like, let me see if I can explain. It's in the, in the bone marrow. Oh, yours all your is, cells are being oh, made. in the bone marrow. White cells, red oh, cells, okay. you know, all that is being made. So that's how you know when it, it wakes back up. Because it's starting to mess with the face. Right. 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 Because he, he's been on chemo now for two years. Two years. And this is the first time last month he missed two treatments because his blood count. Yeah. In three weeks, they gave him six months of blood because he lost so much blood. He had an esophagus. This paper right here, This they took him off one of his drugs. This yeah, drug, he, he it was messing with his blood. Yeah, because yeah, as yeah. good as cancer kills, yeah. the chemo kills the good cells, it takes out the bad. Yeah. yeah. See, that was, see, that's what I, I explained to my doctor when I first started taking it back in 2007. Uh -huh. I told him, uh, if you, if, you know, I was taking it then twice a week. Uh -huh. And I was coming to take it. Twice a week? week. Uh -huh. He go every two weeks. Three and a half. And this is when I first started in 2007 when I first was diagnosed. I was taking it twice a week. And uh, mm. I, I told Dr. Barai at that time, I said, you know what, Dr. Barai, I thought about it. The chemo is already a horrible treatment. Right. Okay? I said, you got to look up to something. Right. You know what I'm saying? To right. Keep us going. Right. I said, that's what I do. But I'm, I'm thinking to myself, my body has to have a rest. Right. For that stuff because if you kill, take keep away up. and kill all my good cells, Sell. God, Put that in yes. That immune system. That immune system yes. Yes. But you gotta help. You know what I'm saying? You can't kill all the good cells up in my body. So that's what you do. He looked at me and he, he agreed with me. And so he started letting me come every two weeks. Just to give my body a rest. And it worked. It worked out perfect. God keep you a walking testimony. Worked out perfect. I did not know nobody could do it. Cause I was. I, that's what I was going to ask this doctor. How long can a person be on chemo? I know. You say 17, 17 years, y'all. Non-stop. Non it ain't the drug. It up. ain't the drug. It's the power behind right. the drug. Right. And that's Jesus. That's right. That's right. But you are healed. In Jesus' name, you healed. Next time I see you, guess what? You're going to say, hallelujah, I'm healed. Because it's our faith. I'm so glad I ran into you. A lot of people that sit next to me, you know, when I'm in the uh -huh. and I talk to them because they can see it. Right. I know. But see, people, what they don't understand is all diseases are stable. Amen. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like heart disease, yeah, diabetes, all, all of them. It's just something about that disease that people panic yeah. over. And see, at that time when I was diagnosed, that's what I did do. It's panic. panic. Right. Because you had God in. That's right. See, I started through. Exactly. And, uh, I didn't want to do that because that, that weakens my immune system. Exactly. And I knew I needed a stronger immune system. You know exactly. Exactly. And that's what kept me going. I, I really never thought about having it. Exactly. 
Exactly. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I would get in the car and drive and everything, drive myself. Cause you know, like mm -hmm. I have two daughters that yeah, they would bring me, but see, mm -hmm. I knew these treatments, how long they take. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to stick up their day like mm -hmm. that, which they didn't mind. Yeah. But you know, they had things yeah. to do, so, cause they had jobs, right. they jobs right. and stuff right. like that. But I hear what you're saying. The thought of having it, yep. you, that will, that will kill you. Right that will kill you. Yes, you because you're worried. You so that's why about. God say, if you're going to pray, don't yep. worry. If you're going to worry, don't pray. So I worried. And what I did, you are put so a right. 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 That ain't nothing but God. Because guess what I was just finna tell you? What? That's why we have so many of these sickness today because we ain't putting the right food in our body. But you just say you ain't stop eating nothing that you like to eat because guess what? Your faith. Bless your soul. You don't even look like you said 73. That's my husband. Head. Head. Eat it up. If I had never done that, I never you would have never known. known. That's right. I still been walking. I don't know. My body is just like that. It's real strong. And uh, I never would have knew that that stuff that got up in there. So if you uh, was walking was so, test yeah. among. You know, could I ask you? Are you uh, affiliated with any churches? Well, you know, I was uh, going to um, the church of uh, Van Buren. Okay. Well, I. My grandmother don't want to Okay. Well, I extend the invitation. We go to Embassy to Christ on Cleveland uh -huh. by the flea market. Okay, yeah. Forty-two. I know what that is. Yeah. I know what that is. So some That's son. That's my uh, my uh, ex-sister-in-law, boy Carter. Oh, I think I know. I don't know if it's the same. Yeah, but your boy. That's where she goes. Is that her last name or first name? I don't know because she got married. Because I know some divorce. Uh, recently, I think sometime was that last year, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Well, Miss Loretta, if you cause on yeah, on Sundays, on Sundays our service yeah. start at eleven, uh -huh. and then we got a Wednesday night service at seven. Okay. Okay. All right, All right. I love you. You love keep you. on, girl. That faith. And you keep on hanging in that. Place. Yes. Yes. All right. Love you. Be blessed. What? This leg always swollen. I know. I'm on them all the time. Maybe I've been trying to tell you that forever. Well, you want me to go? I go get the car. And then I got big legs anyway. Um, I know y'all was still. I know y'all was still on here. Let me get off here. Well, I do got big legs. Y'all hear that testimony? I got to get off here, y'all. I love you guys. This is Laverne. We are blessed.